Hi, welcome to the next video in this tutorial series, which we're going to be introducing a grid system into our application. Okay, so if you remember from our last video, this is where we were at. So we have an HTML page here with just some initial markup, but it's not styled yet. And um, it, it's coming up. I mean, we have continue reading, we have the title of the post and everything. Um, but you can actually serve this to people and they can still read your post, but I'm sure we want to do better than this. Okay, so let's, let's use a grid system. And the grid system we're going to be using, and if you remember from the first video, is a grid system which I um, had created myself. And as I said, it was inspired by Twitter Bootstrap and it's at my GitHub page. So we'll just go to GitHub com forward slash ls web apps and forward slash ls custom css grid system okay so i'll just showcase how the grid system works so this is how it works and um, if you want to have a quick look of how it behaves in real life just come to go to the github page and um, on here i have a showcase link there where you can click and actually see it in in the working so it has some stuff like goddess and you can say I don't want any goddess and what I mean by that is um, you don't want any padding between the different columns in your grid and as you resize the screen the items get smaller and you can say I don't want it to be um, the whole width of the screen even at a small size as you can see here okay so um, so that's it we're going to use this system and I'll be showing you the different um, tags as we're going. So in this video, we, all we're going to do is just download the grid system and include it into our project. So let's just browse to the right hand side here. Click on download zip. And the zip has been downloaded. I'll just open it quickly. And the file that we need is the one inside the CSS folder. Um, if you want to customize this, you can, um, open the SCSS folder here and the main three files that you want to be concerned with are this main reset and the grid.scss um, just ignore this underscore grid old it's something that I was experimenting with and um, I did not remove it so these three files are what you are concerned with if you want to customize this grid system because um, I was I customize it to fit my needs so you might need to do some changes or actually just use it out of the box whichever you like okay so we'll just take this main.css file here. I'll just copy that quickly. And inside our project here, I'll create a new file, CSS. Inside there, I'll just paste it. Okay, so inside our project, as you can see, the CSS folder has appeared. But we don't want to name it main.css we want to name it grid.css so we'll just rename it grid.css and we'll create another file called main.css which will have our other custom non-grid related um, css so we'll call that main.css we'll go in our index.html file here and at the header top here we'll just create a link and in there we'll just link to css for slash grid and we'll duplicate this line and next we'll just link to main.css okay so that's it guys for this tutorial video and um, if you have any questions related to the grid system or anything we've done at all just um, send me a question on the comments below or at my website lswebapps.com forward slash contact and um, yeah thank you for watching i'll see you soon bye bye